My name is Olu Shewini um, I work for Budget. Um, my position is a lead partner of the organization. So, so Budget is to humanize data, is to ensure that data is, is, uh, is citizen-centered. I will find out that a lot of times people don't know how public finance data is spent. They don't even know how public resources are managed and, and it gives room for corruption to thrive. So what we do is take this information, simplify it, make it more easy for people to understand and use different mediums to, 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 to distribute it. So social media, digital media, online, offline platforms, we use different mediums. So, so we classify our users based on different classes. So, so we have the those we call the digital literate citizens. Um, so those are people on social media. Um, and we also have some subcategories in that regard. But where we communicate with people on social media is to use infographics. We use infographics to engage with people, to simplify issues to people. But for people at the, at the local level, what we do mainly is to print it out for them and share it to the focus communities. For the guys at the local level, they want to hear about projects directly affecting them. So we print it and we share it and it's accessible to them in that regard. The next step for us is to, maybe we'll put it in three ways, we want to be a strong, uh, we want to not just do before graphics, we want to be a strong policy think tank. Because we are doing that already, we do a lot of policy documents. What we give to government, what we do on lives, and we can say boldly that we do the best budget analysis um, when it comes out. We distribute that to every, every, uh, every influential person in government and most in the private sector, so we do that. Um, we also want to do a bit of more expansion, uh, maybe within West Africa and maybe East Africa. Yeah, we're going to open in Ghana fully soon, even though we're doing some work skeleton there already right now. So, it can, it can. Um, we might not just do the same approach, we also have to also have a contextual environment to be sure that the tools and the approaches that we're using are working. Um, so, we need more social innovation in Nigeria and even in Africa generally. Because our problems are still very, very basic in terms of education, health, nutrition. You know, we have a problem with unemployment, we have a problem with skills development, we have a problem with teaming youth, you know, a very, very young demography. So it is time, you know, that we begin not begin to think Snapchat, you know, or not begin to think tech innovations that we feel does not really solve our problem. We need solutions to solve our basic problem. You know, ed tech should be a big issue in Nigeria and Africa generally. Health, you know, should be a big issue. This is where I feel BS social innovation is still grossly lacking and we are young people and we investors should also have a, a crucial look at.